Hello, Natalie. Welcome. This is going to be a reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Just let's put a couple cards down here. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. That's over there. Now, what's happening with Leo? What is going on with you guys? Let's see. Ooh, starting out with the lovers. Gemini energy. Work and happiness here. Wow. You might be making a choice here. You have the lover's card, Gemini energy. You might be working on a relationship, but it's making you really happy. Or you can be meeting this person at work. Ooh, and we have the Ten of Cups, too. There's a lot of happiness here. What a way to start a reading. Okay, let's see. Why is the lover card here? Why do we have the lovers here for Leo? This is work. So you're working. Yeah, there's. you might be meeting someone at work or, or being in a partnership or working together with someone. But you are also very focused on your work at this time. All right. Have you ended a job? Have you left a job? Let's see here. We have the nine of cups. Okay, we have the Emperor. Okay, you're very happy. You might have left a job to start a new job where you're very happy at this job. And you might be meeting someone at the new job. Because we have here the Emperor. You're in charge. Maybe you have a promotion or you um, get offered a new opportunity here. And it's making you very happy. And we have the Knight of Swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Well, this looks really good. Whatever's happening, whether you ended something at work or because you left a job or something ended, work is going better. You could have also ended the way you're doing things at work and it changed things for you okay let's see here what else do we have here for leo okay well you're moving yeah i think you might have left a job you were not happy with you're moving away from some kind of pain something that was really making you unhappy and you're and coming into the King of Cups, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Someone might have been sneaky or hiding their feelings. This, the King of uh, Cups is usually someone that doesn't express their emotions. This person might have been hiding their emotions from you. Let's see, why do we have the Three of Swords here? Why do we have the Three of Swords? We have the Empress. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Empress. So this is... It might be the person that caused you pain was an empress that you were in um here you are the emperor here and you got the empress here this is taurus or libra energy but you left this energy or you're moving away from it at one time they did make you really happy and we also have the queen of cups so you do have the king and the queen of cups here also so a very there was a lot of emotions in this connection Okay, why do we have the Six of Swords? Okay, you're moving away to your happiness. Whatever you're moving on, it's a new job, a new opportunity, a new passion. It's transforming your life. Why do we have the King of Cups? Yeah, the Queen of Cups wants to come up again. It showed up twice here. So, whoever you're moving away from or wherever you're moving away from, Two, moon two is a connection here, a very loving, mutual connection. I don't know, this person might not show their emotions that much, but there is a very nurturing, loving connection here. And you're also very intuitive. And we have, this is, might be suddenly shocking um, news that comes in. It might be shocking that you left this person or this situation. This also could represent something where you were being very creative and it just had to end here for some reason or an ending brought you into empress energy for some of you this energy of being more creative because this is a very creative energy i think you left heartache here to come into empress or meet an empress for some of you you're meeting empress some of you this is you are the empress because i'm getting pulled in two different directions with this card here 
And something that's shocking. Some, something coming out of the blue here. Okay. Things are changing for the better. Whatever you're doing, you're moving on from something that did not serve you to something much better. Oh, cards are flying out. Okay, we have... Okay, you're going to get a message. It might be from uh, Capricorn. You're going to get communication here. Some kind of information is coming in towards you. It might be also um, something... Let me get the last card over here first. We're being stuck here. Again, you are moving on from something. Whatever you're doing here, you're definitely moving. You're moving on to something better. You've got the Capricorn energy. Someone might have been very possessive over you, very controlling, or you felt really trapped in this energy, but you are receiving some kind of message. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius with the Page of Wands. Something new, a new beginning, a new start. Why do we have the Page of Wands here? Again, this Three of Swords. There's some kind of message about this pain, this heartache. Why do we have the devil here? I feel like someone's trying to get a message from you because you left them and they're very upset over this possessive. Ah, King of Swords. Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. <laughs> And we have Page of Swords. This person is watching you. Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitment. I feel like this person that you left, they really expected to be with you for the long term. They expected more. You walked away from the situation. You were no longer happy with the situation. This person is obsessed over this. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is watching you. They're watching everything you do, and you had to move on from this situation. Let's get some more cards on this. Tell me what else is going on for video, please. You want justice. You want fairness. This person's hanging on to you really tight. They might come back in with um, um flowers, or they're coming in with a romantic gesture here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, this, they want Libra energy here. They want to balance things out with you. I don't know if you trust this person. And we have this person thinks about you day and night. They don't want to let go of you. They're trying to balance things out in their life because something's not right in their life. That's why they're, they you had to lead them because they were not balancing things out. They might have been addicted to something. Might have been drinking or or doing drugs or overdoing something there's something of behavior here that you did not like and now you're looking out to the future here what else we have you want your independence being single you're starting some brand new life here and you're waiting for your ships to come in you're protecting whatever you decide to do here we have judgment card coming in here happiness and the world. Yeah, you are ending a cycle. You're starting something brand new. You're going in a whole new direction. You're leaving this person behind. They don't like it. They're not giving up on you. And um, they're coming back in here. And also, um, they want to ask you out. But you have ended a cycle to start something new. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. So, luck is on your side. You have Everyone has value. And you have to remember that. That this person did not value you. And says, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So you are changing your life. You're getting away from this very narcissistic energy here. And there's a new love coming in. Things are changing. Things are shifting. New love is coming in for you guys. Okay, let's see what's popping out over here. Six of Cups. There might be someone returning from your past. I don't think it's this person. I think it might be someone else. It could be this person. But there's a lot of memories. There's, Or you might be going back to a job you used to do. But you re, you might be returning to something you did in the past. Or there's someone that you're with in the past. Or they're coming back in to talk to you. But there is also a very new love coming in. This energy feels really good. Things are changing. And you have to... Everyone has value. This is saying you have to stand up for yourself. You have to realize that you do have value. And this person cannot control you, whoever this person is. Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for everyone. This feels like a very specific reading. So I'm sorry if this doesn't resonate with you at this time. But part of it might and part of it might not. But you, there is new beginnings for people here. So this person that was this uh, narcissistic energy here might not be for everyone. 
but there's definitely new beginnings, new starts, and it looks really good. Things are happening in your life. Things are changing. You're getting away from what was negative. Okay, let's see. We have Cancer, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Pisces again, and Leo. Okay, there you are, Leo. So we have Cancer, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, I hope this resonated with you. Part take what does and I'll leave what doesn't because I know this one area here with this person here that's um, it's a very negative energy is not going to be for everyone. Um, please leave a comment if it does resonate with you. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. And I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you so much.